What's up everybody, X Landscape here, back with another video. It's going to be a quick one today, but uh, hopefully informative one helps someone out. Uh, if your TPS light is on, I will show you how to replace the sensor and break the bead without bringing it to the tire shop. So stay tuned. So this is my 2012 Honda Civic. It's got 278,000 miles on it. It's my commuter car, back and forth to work. Uh, I had good tires on it, the Continental Conti Pros, and I just replaced all these sensors. Uh, so those are pretty new. But I had a blowout the other day, and I was kind of in a pinch. And I was on the highway, and I couldn't stop in time. And the tire went down to the rim. I was kind of riding on the rim. I destroyed the sensor. Got a new China tire on there. Cosmo. Lion Master. Whatever, cheapo, just to get me going till I can get it uh, another name brand tire. But the uh, sensor shot, so. <clears throat> Bought a new Honda sensor. And there you go, that's the part number. If you guys want to take a screenshot of that, I'm going to show you guys how to change that rubber valve stem back to the factory Honda sensor to get your light. To stop flashing so stay tuned uh, all right so first step i'm gonna jack up the car and pop the wheel all right, so get your jack under here there's a little there's a pinch weld let's jack it up up on the pinch weld for those of you who don't know how to do it some people don't Remove the lugs with a 19. All right, so now you got the tire off. There's two ways to go about it. You could either A, let the air out like that, or B, use the valve core removal tool. Just zip the core out. Just watch it doesn't go flying. Okay. The core went on the ground, but I know where it is. But next step, this is the this is the part that's hopefully I help some of you guys out with this. It's a little cool trick that I learned over the years. All right, so here's the trick. You get yourself a little jack like this. It's the one that's in the car. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to use a block of wood like this to pop the bead. All right, so you can... I'm using my Silverado. You don't need a Silverado. You just need something strong enough that you can wrench down on it and pop the bead. So uh, it might take a shot or two to do it, but it will. It'll happen. I'll show you. So this is probably going to be teeter tottering all over the place, but we'll see. Set up your jack like so. Push down. I don't know if you can see or not. I'm not looking at the camera, so I don't know what your angle looks like. But it's pushing down on that bead. And it should pop sooner or later. There we go. Boom. Bead popped. See? 
wasn't too hard. Just load this jack back down. Now, you don't have to get your tire rebalanced because the tire didn't spin on the rim. You're just popping the bead off. See? Right, let's take this back over to the bench and we'll pop that core out and I'll put the new uh, replacement tire sensor on. I'll show you how to do that next. All right, so now that the valve stem's out, again, here's a, if you guys want to take a screenshot, that's the OEM Honda uh, TPMS sensor. And here's the new sensor. So basically, there's a couple pieces to it. Try not to drop anything down in the hole because otherwise it's there forever. So you're going to unscrew, there's your cap, washer, it's like a little plastic washer. So basically this is going to go in like that. Alright, so I'll go ahead and do that now. Let me drop these pieces down. Like I said, I don't really want to drop this thing because it's going to be a, a hassle. You get the point. Let me set the camera down because there's going to be jiggling going on. But this has to go in there just like that. Like so. Like I said, that wad, that little clear washer goes on first. The little crush washer. Then this cap. Just screw it on. And then uh, tighten that up with a... <clears throat> it's going to be a 12. You don't have to go super tight. You don't want to break it. I'd say that's probably good. And that's it. Then we'll fill it back up with air. Alright, so before I fill it up, I'm just going to give it a quick shot of uh, WD-40 around the rim. Just to help it, just to help it pop the bead on. That's a young guy go crazy. Let me set you guys down because I need two hands, but you get the point. Should pop on any second. There you go. Boom. That's it. Now we'll just fill it up to 35 PSI. And that's it. Throw the cap back on. And I'll show you guys how to program this thing. Alright, so I'm just going to do the relearn procedure on all the sensors because it's probably going to be easier. So we'll just hit relearn. Boom, we'll just read. It says position, relearn type, OBD2, blah, 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 blah. Engage the parking gear. Ensure the tires are inflated. Start with the left front and trigger each sensor. Connect the OBD2 and then right sensors. Alright, so that's what we're going to do. So let's do that now. Alright, so it read that one. Now it's saying to go to the 
right front. That's what we'll do. Put your thing up to the here. Hit the scan. Okay, read it. Now it's going to say right rear. Go up to it. Scan it. Read it. Left rear. Scan it. There we go. Now I read all of them. Okay. All right, now we're going to go to OBD2 relearn. We'll go back in the car, plug it in, and we should be good to go. All right, so now that all the sensors are connected, well, activated, we're going to connect this thing to the OBD2 and relearn the computer. So let's connect it up. Uh, turn the ignition on. Don't start it, just turn the ignition on. Yes. That's it. Now it's doing its thing. And now we wait. It's programming the computer now. It's doing a bunch of crap. It says right was successful. Communicating with the vehicle. It's reading. This thing is freaking the hell out. But it says it's done. Alright, now the final step is shut the thing off. Uh, disconnect the OBD2, start the car, the light's going to come on still, but you got to drive it like uh, 20, 20 miles an hour and it should shut off, so we'll see what happens here. This thing is like freaking the hell out, so let's drive it 20 miles an hour and see if it clears up. Alright, so all good, it was freaking out, <laughs> I drove around the block. Once it hit like 26 miles an hour, the light went off, and all is well. So, like I said, this thing is pretty cool, man. It's it it works. Uh, it's like uh, I forget how much it was, but like I said, I've used it a few times and it's paid for itself. Bring it to the tire shop and or you know your factory Honda, whatever they're gonna charge you a decent amount of money. So it's good to just buy the tool and this way you have it for all your cars. But, uh, yeah, I guess that's going to bring it to the end of the video. Um, super simple. Like I said, a uh, couple trip, you know, tips and tricks for you. Hopefully uh, someone gets something out of it. Uh, so, like I said, it's a quick, easy thing to do. Save yourselves a decent amount of money if you just do it yourself. I hope somebody got something out of it. And if you guys got any questions or comments or anything, drop them down below. Look at this thing. 279,000 miles. What a hunk of crap. Still going. You guys got anything? Drop it down. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one. Later. Come on, fuckball. Come on.